When you're ready to take your um, readings of your samples using the spectrophotometer, you need to decant your solution into the cuvettes. So the first thing you want to check is where the fill line is in your cuvette. There's a little triangle on one of the sides. To the bottom of this triangle is where you want to fill up. The next thing to check is which direction you want to put this cuvette into your spectrophotometer. So the, this end with the triangle on has a clear uh, face on it. This wants to face in the direction of the light. The other end is clouded. That one does not because you will get no readings. So take the solution. The first one will be your blank. So this will have everything in your reaction apart from what you're measuring, but that will be replaced by something without it. So in this particle, we're measuring protein. We'll use water because there's no protein in water. Take your cuvette. There's a little arrow on your spectro spectrophotometer. This will tell you which direction the light will go through. You want to make sure that little triangle we talked about earlier is facing in that plane. It can either go towards or away from that arrow. Push your cuvette in, making sure it reaches the bottom. You'll press the blue button then to blank the machine. A small light will appear on top and it will give a reading of zero, saying that the spectrophotometer has been blanked. Remove that sample and put it back into your sample tube. Keep all your samples until the end of the practical in case you need to take readings again. Using the same technique, take your sample, pour it into your cuvette up to the line, ensuring it faces the right direction. Place it into your spectrophotometer, press it all the way down, and this time press the green button in order to take a reading. The readings on the spectrophotometer should always read between 0.1 and 1. If they ever exceed or go below this, there's an issue with either your sample or your blank, so you need to double check what you've done wrong.